I got a cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled in the real world too is my favorite isekai anime. It's about a guy named Yuya Tenjo who gets to have a massive power fantasy. In the first episode, he's just a regular guy who is very overweight, but he ends up getting shredded by going to another world where he gains the skills of an isekai protagonist. It's refreshing to see a unique take on isekai anime since the only isekai that I think is watchable is Overlord. I generally hate the copy and paste genre, but this show is different because he gets to use the skills that he learns in the other world in his real life similar to Isekai Oji-san. Here, just look at the first episode. He helps out this girl by giving her time to escape from these delinquents who are harassing her. He was bullied super hard by everyone including his parents and siblings. The only person that cared about him was his grandfather and so he left his house to Yuya when he died. After discovering the door to another world, Yuya gets to transfer the other world's currency into real world yen. So he makes time tons of money and gains all kind of cool powers. It's funny because this show subverts nearly every expectation you have about isekai anime and it absolutely cracks me up. I am dying of laughter when girls are fawning over him and he is getting all kinds of special treatment. It's a lot like the premise of that anime lookism where pretty much the same thing happens to the MC without all of the isekai stuff. It says a lot about superficiality in the world. If someone who is really good looking does something wrong then most people brush it off or they look at it in the most positive way as a learning opportunity for the individual. Meanwhile, if an ugly guy smiles at a girl, it's seen as very creepy and even threatening. People say that if you are just confident, then you will get a romantic partner. But I don't believe that you can win someone over with confidence alone. The more people you meet, the more chances there will be of finding someone who likes you for who you are. But ultimately, life isn't about the created, but the creator. Yuya gives an incredible opportunity to turn the tables on all of those who tormented him but instead he continues to help those in need. In episode 2 he helps save a princess from another world. Wait why is he completely CGI in the other world but not in the real world? Anyways Yuya gets the best of both worlds literally when the princess tracks him down in episode 3 and she proposes to him. Thinking that this is too forward Yuya respectfully declines and friend zones her. So now he has so many girls coming after him that he has to douse their fiery dreams with a hose. Look don't act like you wouldn't want to be in a similar situation to this guy. He has superpowers, money, attention from girls, and job opportunities. It's simply enjoyable to vicariously live through him. And yes, it's obviously not real life. However, it is an artistic depiction of a harsh reality. People treat you differently based on your looks. It's sad, but that's how the world works. Now, is Yuya a bad guy or mean in any way? No, it's the total opposite. It also shows how a person who transforms their outer self can maintain their inner self by staying humble. The important part about this show is that it shows you the true value of a person is based upon their personality and their heart, not on what's on the outside, but what's on the inside. My best friend enjoys Isekai anime, but I rarely watch them, let alone make a whole video about how great one is. Even if you are not a fan of the Isekai genre, this show is definitely worth the watch. By the way, please consider subscribing for more anime content. At the time of this video, we are almost at 200 subs. So I wanted to thank everyone for your support. We have only just begun. As always, this is the Eagle-Eyed Samurai signing off.